the new topic is related to DPDP to blur. It's a question asked by one of uh, uh, the subscribe member of uh, my channel. It's about uh, a DPDP uh, coupler configuration and uh, use SFC 14 and uh, 15 to perform the uh, data exchange in the in the, in the the network and in the those uh, CPUs. I will develop a very simple program in the step uh, step seven classic uh, environment first. First, I need to insert MPI. Again, uh, right click. S mm. I need to insert S7300. Uh, the name of the CPU will be the left CPU. In the left CPU, we should have the rack for S7300. And uh, then we have the power supply. And the uh, CPU with the uh, DP capability. Mm. PP1, the proxy bus network is PP1 here. And uh, it's possible to also connect the CPU to MPI. That's done. And uh, now uh, let me just see that if there is an OB1 here to, in the blocks folder. Yes, there is an OB1 here. Change the program to STL. And just insert some, uh, some blank uh, networks. Uh, the next step will be uh, copy the CPU and just rename that to write CPU. Um, and uh, the, in the write CPU, we should go to the hardware configuration in the um, MPI, same MPI, different address. And in the DP, we should create a new DP network because in DP DP coupler, we should have two uh, profibus DP networks with uh, different uh, uh, physical media with different uh, baud rate and everything. So we have uh, two different. Uh, on uh, let me close the thing dp master update is read only let me close Uh, let me check again the pb2 we are in pb2 uh, now it's possible to uh, save and compile okay uh, in the left cpu we open the hardware configuration in profibus uh, dp network we will add the dp coupler in gateway This is the Profibus uh, net, uh, network subnet one. I changed the address uh, for the interface related to the first network. I go, I go. I will go to the right CPU. I need to insert the same here, and uh, the address should be different because it's a different network. 
So uh, in the uh, left view, uh, we have uh, these are uh, the consistency type of data uh, uh, in uh, from here to to here is uh, in over a byte. But if you want to transfer data from uh, consistent type of data, uh, data uh, like uh, 16 bytes of uh, consistent uh, output, if you want to transfer uh, 16 bytes of consistent output, uh, let, let me try again. Open the left. Uh, we are in the coupler. Same gateway. And uh, this type of uh, you know, data are, they are consistent. We want to transfer 16 bytes of consistent uh, data. This is the consist 16 byte of uh, consistent data, and we will receive uh, 16 byte of consistent input signal. So we send data and receive that they are consistent. If you um, uh, check the properties, they are consistent over total length. So uh, for the, the next. Uh, for the next uh, CPU, this is the CPU in profile was one. For the next CPU, first we should receive uh, this type of data and then send. Uh, the you know the order should be uh, reversed. In the right CPU, we go to the coupler. First, uh, we should receive the data because first we in the um, in the other. Uh, master first we uh, send now we should receive and again we should send for from uh, the right CPU to the left CPU it's possible to um, compile and uh, see everything uh, see everything in a, a range Range vertically. So now, now you can see that we have the from the left part we will send data from this address to uh, input uh, in the right CPU. I will uh, develop the programming. Related to that, first we need to run the calculator calc. Oh, it's not difficult to, to see. Uh, I, will, I will use the calculator in the main window. Uh, first, we should go to the left CPU and we should send the data over the output. For sending data, send data uh, we should uh, use uh, sfc15 to send the data the l address in the hex format let me uh, we need to convert to uh, um, 256 to the hex format it's uh, 100 in the hex format we need to insert the L address in hex format. For the return value, we can use a dummy integer here, ret. Uh, this is integer. Mm -hmm. And as it's, uh, we will send uh, 16 bytes, uh, we can uh, give the address. How like we will send data from M, mm, 
and 200.0 byte 16 to send data from the memory area uh, the starting memory area is n 200.0 16 bytes from here uh, we will send data over SFC uh, 15 we will send data from the output uh, in a consistent manner and uh, we will receive that in the right CPU uh, using SFC 14 call SFC 14 call SFC 14 and the, the same L address board 16 100 return value same integer red integer uh, if if you want to uh, develop a, a complex program to check the return value or the validity check you can use the return value or even it's possible to use the Uh, it's possible to write to re, uh, check the validity of the uh, transfer data by using this uh, this variable, or it's possible to uh, send a very um, uh, pulse, short pulse, or a uh, one second pulse, two second pulse, uh, pulse with a certain period and as, as a uh, live bit, and monitor the live bit. Uh, to check the validity or you know the consistency of the whole data so from the left CPU to the right CPU we transfer the uh, 16 bytes by using uh, DP write in the left CPU right uh, we will write to the output and we will read from the input uh, area by using SFC 14 in the in the right CPU the right CPU is here you can do the same yeah you can do the same to send the data I think it will be the same uh, it will be the same uh, SFC uh, 15 uh, in the right and SFC 14 in the left. Very easy and you can function test uh, different types of data for, for your case. I hope that this uh, will answer your question. And thank you for watching and please uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.